Hi crafting friends, Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Today I have a super fun project for you uh, with probably my single favorite technique ever, the impressions of tarnished foil. The featured product here is this amazing, awesome embossing folder, the Stone 3D embossing folder. This embossing folder is part of the Power of Hope bundle and is available as a free item during celebration. Watch to the end of this video to learn more details about how you can get this free bundle. So what we're going to start with for this technique is a piece of copper foil. Now you can use any foil paper for this technique, but I especially like the copper and the gold and the silver. And most of the projects that I've shared with this technique use one of these three. So the foils are a non-porous surface and they will pick up the oils in your fingers. So I like to use a um, post-it note or a piece of cardstock or something to hold down my paper when I do my very first step. So I'm gonna start with my Jet Black Stays On. You can also use a black archival ink. Now we don't sell that at Stampin' Up! anymore, but if you have it on hand, it's also an alternative. Now the Jet Black Stays On is particularly um, suitable for non-porous surfaces and it has a, it's a really dark rich black so I especially love it for that and it's my preferred black ink uh, given the choice. So I'm going to start with the direct-to-paper technique with my ink pad just gently holding down my paper so it doesn't move and creating streaks of black across my surface and I like to catch a little bit on the edge um, because I really like that element. So I'm just turning it over and I'm gonna do some from the other side like, so I get a black edge on both sides. So this just gives me a nice kind of textural background to start with. Now this will stay a little bit wet on the surface um, for a little while so you can either set it aside to dry and just come back to your project uh, later or you can use your heat tool on the low setting to give it a quick little uh, drying. Now I want to make sure it's dry because for the next step I'm going to be dry embossing and I want to make sure that I'm not going to get that jet black stays on on my embossing folder and stain it. So I'm just going to take my foil paper, my foil sheet, place it into my embossing folder. Now I do want to pay attention to the what's going to get embossed versus debossed on this because I do want the stone elements to be poking up, not the lines. So I'm going to turn that around and you can see the non Stampin' Up! side, there's the Stampin' Up! the logo right there. The non Stampin' Up! side has the elements that are the larger stones that are going to push up into my foil and make those uh, on the front of my foil piece. Now this is a 3D embossing folder so I'm using my special 3D embossing folder plate. And there we go. Just removed that. Isn't that pretty? Just as is. Now next I'm going to use my Versamark ink which is a clear sticky ink and selectively run it over this surface just a little bit here and there. Not in uh, any particular way but just kind of random spots here and there and now I'm going to take some silver embossing powder and just put my piece of foil into the embossing powder. Now it's only going to stick where that Versamark was and sometimes I'll end up with lines or shapes that I don't love so I'll just kind of rough those up a little bit with my finger or if it's covering up too much um, I can also remove some of the embossing powder selectively. I want to make sure that I'm going to see enough of that copper foil uh, exposed in behind the silver. So now I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss this. Now I have found that uh, the copper foil is a little bit more sensitive to sort of curling up than some of the other foils. So you don't want to overheat it. You just want to make sure the whole thing is melted. Um, all the powder, of course, is melted on the surface, which it looks like it is. 
All right, moving right along, I'm going to use my Versamark again, and I'm going to again randomly place some Versamark and select spots here and there. So I'm covering up a little bit more of my copper and doing a little bit more um, over the top of the silver just to kind of break up the larger parts of silver on there. And then I'm going to take my foil and put it into my gold embossing powder. So now I've essentially added some gold patches uh, over my silver and intermixed with the copper. And again, I'm going to look at it and decide if I want to rub off any elements that may be looking too linear to me. But I'm actually liking the way that's looking. So now I'm going to go ahead and heat it to melt the gold embossing powder. Now, if you go ahead and try this, you could stop at any point. Um, that looks really pretty just the way it is. But I like to add what I think is sort of a signature element to this technique, the tarnish, if you will. So to do that, I'm gonna bring in my Jet Black Stays On again, and I'm going to selectively apply some of that here and abouts just to create some contrast and to give it that sort of tarnish, dirty look. Now I'm going to do some on the edges, and I really love to do black on the edges to frame the piece. And now I've got one more step that I haven't done on other tarnished foil projects because I didn't have this product before, but on this one I think it looks really pretty. So next I'm bringing in the Saddle Brown Stays On, which is a new product in the catalog. Now this is in the mini catalog, so I don't know that it's going to carry over to the big catalog, but we can just hope. So it has a very, it's a, just a lovely brownish, golden brownish kind of element to it. So super pretty with a stone look like this. So this saddle brown is really nice for lightening up the spots that seem a little too black to me. As you can see, I just did right there. So I'm pretty much done with this focal piece. So I'm going to start with some quick assembly of this card. Now this is a really simple layout. So I'm going to start by just attaching it to a black backing. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back side of this. My black Stampin' Dimensionals are perfect for this. Now next I'm going to dry emboss one of my layers with my Subtle Embossing Folder. And I'm using Soft Suede. And now the rest is just simple assembly. So while I finish up, I want to make sure you're aware that the Power of Hope stamp set and embossing folder are available as a bundle. These are free items during celebration and they're only available while supplies last. Now celebration goes through March 31st of uh, 2020. So celebration is almost over. So if you love this bundle, you may want to place an order so you can get this bundle for free. It is a level two celebration item, so you'll need to spend $100 to get this lovely bundle for free. They're each gonna turn out slightly different depending on how much copper and gold you have in there and how much black you use and, the, um, and how much saddle brown ink you use as well. I hope you've enjoyed my project today and we'll give the Impressions of Tarnish Foil technique a try. To see more projects made with my Impressions of Tarnish Foil technique, check out my dedicated Pinterest board. Here are just a few of my favorite projects. I also have a free PDF tutorial when you sign up to receive my weekly newsletter. Plus, I have two classes dedicated to projects made with this technique that are available to purchase on my website. Just go to the Tutorials and Classes tab and you'll find the links there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today, and happy crafting!